Holy moly, look at the size of this thing. Today I'm like super duper happy. You people can literally see the excitement on my face because I finally got a brand new GPU upgrade I've been looking for. If you guys have been following me, it's been quite some time, almost like an year since I upgraded my personal PC and on my personal PC I had like a GeForce RTX 3080 GPU guys. And let me tell you 3080 was like a really good GPU and has been running so far so good, but now it's been like almost end of 2024 I thought I'll have to step up my GPU game because I'm also getting some brand new 4K monitors, right? So expect a brand new setup as well. For that, I really needed like a generational GPU upgrade. That is the reason I got a brand new GeForce RTX 40 series GPU. And let me tell you, 40 series cards also offer some next gen technology, especially those AI related technologies like frame generation and all of that, right? So that can offer like huge improvement compared to the previous gen, guys. So out of all the models, today we got our hands on Gigabyte's GeForce RTX. 4080 gaming OC edition and you people know right GeForce RTX 40 series cards are based on Ada Lovelace architecture featuring 4th gen tensor cores and also 3rd gen ray tracing cores and this particular model features up to like 16 GB of GDDR6X memory that too with an OC clock of 2535 MHz and also offers 9728 CUDA cores which makes it an ideal choice not just for gaming but for all your AI related workloads as well and by the way are you people looking at the size of this thing that is literally a monster featuring their wind force cooling system that offers a unique alternate spinning 110 mm fans 11 copper heat pipes on board and a large vapor chamber directly touching the gpu chip all of these work together for an excellent airflow and offer efficient heat dissipation built quality is also solid i mean look at the backplate over here you're getting a full-on metal backplate and you do get an included anti-sag bracket in the box last but not the least the gpu also has a dual BIOS feature to switch between OC or silent profile depending on your needs and requirement. Anyways, coming back to the topic, a lot of people usually think that these GPUs are used only for gaming. Yes, they are useful for gaming, but apart from that, these GPUs can also be greatly useful for creative and productive needs as well and not to miss out in AI tech space. Now you people know, right, 2024 has all been about AI, guys. You're seeing AI everywhere and in the future also AI is just gonna grow a lot. And not just in like technology field, in science field, medical field as well, everywhere AI is being implemented. Not just hardware, I mean look at your software side as well. Look at all the creative applications like Adobe Premiere Pro, Photoshop, Audacity. You're getting all these AI features implemented these days, right? And if you want to survive and you know adapt to these sort of things and basically if you want to be like future proof, then Nvidia's GeForce RTX 40 series cards definitely play a crucial role. And apart from this, Nvidia has also developed lots Lots of interesting creative applications which can be great for creators and also gamers as well. I'm not sure how many of you people heard about this or how many of you people are actually using them but if you don't know right you're missing out on a lot. For example take into consideration Nvidia broadcast application you're also getting Nvidia chat RTX not to miss out their project G assist Nvidia is all of these are like really interesting apps and features guys. First of all let's talk about Nvidia broadcast especially if you're like a creator or maybe gamer right and maybe you're planning to do some streaming right for you people nvidia's broadcast application can be like super useful is what i can say so what happened is a couple of years back whenever these sort of gamers or streamers wanted to stream some sort of gameplay right for that obviously you needed like a good studio setup because whenever viewers are watching your video they'd obviously expect you have a professional studio offer like good audio and microphone quality as well right so that time you needed to invest a lot in these external setups guys but now you don't need to do any of that because Nvidia's broadcast will literally transform your simple looking boring room into a full on studio experience guys. That too literally free of cost. You don't need to invest anywhere. You've got different sections over here like there's a microphone section, speaker section is there and camera effects section. When you're streaming right, I'm pretty sure a lot of streamers might have faced this where your microphone picks up a lot of unnecessary background noises, maybe like your fan noise, AC noise or even your keyboard clicks. You can very easily eliminate all of those
those using nvidia's ai using noise removal and you also have echo removal feature as well you can even fine tune the strength of the effect as well all as per your requirement not just the mic effects you even have like great camera tools for your webcam streaming you can enable background blur or even set up like a virtual backdrop all at your fingertips very easily accessible from this broadcast app no extra hardware required guys super handy and useful for streamers definitely check it out so keeping that aside let's also talk about nvidia's chat rtx now chat rtx is like having your own personal ai chat bot on your pc guys especially if you're like a college student right you might find this super useful and best part is it all runs locally on your computer guys doesn't need any internet connection so your data is also fully safe and you don't need to worry about privacy concerns only thing is it needs at least like minimum geforce rtx 30 series or 40 series cards with 8 gb of vram so basically you can use chat rtx to get relevant information from your own files on your pc or laptop say for example you're a school student or college student you guys usually need to write like essays and assignments on different topics right you don't need to work on that anymore leave everything to chat rtx it'll do the job for you all you need to do is like create a folder locally on your pc and feed all the textbook materials notes or any sort of information on that topic and ask a simple question to chat rtx and it'll only get your job done within minutes guys everything on the go simply type in your question maybe you want to ask it like a write a 10 line summary on this particular topic and that's it chat rtx will automatically give you the final result like how cool is that all right now this is the most interesting part i've been eager to talk about nvidia's all new project g assist now this is like an rtx powered ai assistant especially for your games and applications now see there are so many open world triple title games right maybe like gta 5 or maybe like cyberpunk arc survival series so many games are there and there is no definitive way to play these games gamers can play these games in like multiple directions multiple ways it totally depends on the user and the player but here only the confusion starts especially for all the amateur or beginner gamers guys because they're not sure how to proceed in the game say for example you want to buy a new weapon in the game and there are so many options and choices to choose from and you don't know which will offer you the best benefits and results in the game here nvidia's project g assist can be like super useful guys so this is like an ai assistant as i've told you right you can ask it a question related to the game and it will give you like appropriate answers and not just answering your game related questions it can do a lot more so how does it do all of that so basically project g assist takes input from the player either it be like text input or voice input as well and also connect some data that is present on the screen say for example you're asking some question from the game right it takes a snapshot from the screen and feeds all of this information to an ai model basically an llm and that llm is obviously connected to like a wiki source or maybe like a knowledge base model and from there it will get all the answers guys so it will basically process all of this information and give you appropriate answer for your question say for example we're playing some sort of game and you want to build like a new weapon or maybe you want to craft something then if you ask the question right project g assist will automatically look at your player stats or maybe what sort of items you have in your inventory how much currency you have and based on that it will give you suggestions that you can build this sort of weapon or you can go for this sort of approach and that is how it will help you play your game like very cool stuff right and not just with your game related questions as i've told you it can do much more project g assist can also tune your pc guys to give you optimal sort of results now i'm telling you right there are so many graphic settings in pc games and it's not easy for everyone to understand them and apply appropriate settings here you don't need to worry about that based on your hardware configuration whatever pc you have right nvidia's project g assist will automatically overview all of that and give you appropriate settings and simply by enabling that right you'll get best possible results and not just tuning your graphic settings or vc it is also capable of overclocking your gpu also guys in one click solution just leave it to project g assist and it will only take care of giving you best to sort of results so guys if you want to know more about this thing definitely check out all the details in the description and do try it out and last but not the least i have one more interesting uh, feature to talk about which is nvidia ace so ace stands for avatar cloud engine and is basically like a suit of technologies that brings digital humans to life that too with generative ai powered by nvidia's geforce rtx 40 series gpus if you people remember two months back we went to bangalore for nvidia's ai tech showcase and that is where i got to know about nvidia's ace and i was like blown away guys we had like real time demos over there with a couple of games as well like perfect world games legends demo featuring nvidia's ace and all of its ai capabilities there we got to meet uni a digital character that is capable of interacting with all the players you can literally speak with her interact in the game have a conversation ask any
any questions related to the game and much more it was so much fun so as i've told you this is all powered by ai technologies like audio to face so the characters responses are like animated in real time using aces audio to face generating a realistic audio lip sync and natural movement of facial muscles and expressions i'm telling you right nvidia's ac is gonna be like a game changer in the industry guys the ai technologies and capabilities that nvidia is showcasing right now they're like constantly evolving and offer like a much richer and immersive gaming experience i can't wait to see where this is going to go in the coming few years and finally coming to the gaming part you people know right nvidia's geforce rtx gpus offer a lot of technologies that greatly improve your overall gaming experience you get access to nvidia's ray tracing and also ai dlss frame generation especially on the newer 40 series gpus and not to miss out nvidia's reflex as well and to show you these capabilities and technologies today we'll be playing a very popular and trending triple a title right now guys which is black myth wukong i'm not sure how many of you people have actually played this game but the graphics on this thing are mind blowing on top of that you're getting like full path tracing support in the game along with dlss 3 guys so you people know right nvidia's ray tracing offers like very realistic graphics so when you enable this right you get like natural and lifelike looking graphics as it greatly improves overall lighting in the game shadows and also reflections as well in this first clip ray tracing is off and here's how the gameplay looks like pretty normal right i mean it's good but nothing extraordinary but see what happens when i enable ray tracing in the settings bam immediately noticeable difference right especially in the game's lighting and the shadows ray tracing offers you much more accurate dynamic and realistic looking experience let me just put these clips side by side so you'll better understand what's happening ah now you can actually check out the difference right this is what i was talking about well that was about ray tracing and the magic it does but the only thing is ray tracing is quite taxing on the gpu you will definitely see a drop in the performance once you enable it and this is where nvidia's dlss comes into play you people know right dlss stands for deep learning super sampling and it's an upscaling technology that greatly boosts your frame rates without compromising on the image quality and ai frame generation also massively boosts your frame rate up to four times depending on the current resolution you're playing the game at in this first test as you can see we are playing the game with nvidia's dlss3 and ai frame generation technology off and on an average we were getting only around like 34 35 fps and mind you full ray tracing mode has been enabled and the preset set to very high settings but see what happens now by simply enabling nvidia's dlss3 and also ai frame generation you can see a massive improvement guys from 34 35 fps to almost like 69 70 plus fps guys almost 2x performance improvement making the overall gameplay a lot smoother and enjoyable now this is the kind of difference i was talking about guys i'm telling you right once you get used to playing with these nvidia technologies there is no going back well that is pretty much it this is what i wanted to share with you all in this video i hope you people got to learn a lot about ai and also about nvidia's geforce rtx 40 series cards if you all enjoyed watching it make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel for more such awesome videos and i'll see you all in my next one